All right, well, two different times I've hit my fucking knee on the bottom of this table. This table is really, what this table is, is really a door that we laid down on top of uh, two sawhorses. So the sawhorse right here is at the end of the table. And two times now I've hit my damn kneecap on this, on the sawhorse underneath the table because I'm trying a different look tonight. Um, this might be one of my last nights, to be honest. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows at this fucking point, man? I don't even know at all. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying a different angle. I'm sitting at the end of the table this time. Sometimes I'm over here, most of the time. Sometimes I've been on this side. And uh, this will be my first time at the end of the table. So we'll see what happens. I don't like it already because I've got this mic set up on the uh, on my left side. And normally in the chair I'm in, my mic is on the other side. And I don't know. I just, I just don't feel as comfortable with it, man. I like, <laughs> I'm used to adjusting with my other hand, I guess, my other arm. Kind of like jagging off, right? I mean, sometimes you just get used to doing it a certain way. And when you try and introduce the other hand, it doesn't always work too well. Um, you know, and some people will say it's like a, a, like a stranger. If you use your other hand, it's, 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 uh, it's like <laughs> having sex with somebody else. But not really. It's like having really bad sex with somebody else. Let's put it that way. So right now I feel like I'm having really bad sex with my microphone on the other side right now. Is what I'm saying, basically. Oh, guys, I don't even know right now. Um, I just got back from Lowe's Foods. You know what? Screw all that. Let's go into this real quick. So I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm having to wear glasses more often now, guys, because... I don't know what's going on with my fucking vision, but I had, you know, I think I may have talked about this on a previous podcast way back, uh, a few episodes back, but I went and had my vision checked because my vision just keeps getting worse and worse and worse, I think, more and more blurry, and I'm just having more trouble seeing things all the time. The glasses seem to help a little bit, so, but I don't know, when I went to... When I went to the uh, eye doctor, they said my vision was fine. They said I didn't need anything, a uh, prescription or anything. They said maybe I could just go get a, get a reader, you know, from the store. This is actually a prescription that I was given while I was in the military. Um, I don't remember why they gave it to me, but <clears throat> the readers that I had, I liked even better. They looked better than these, I think. But Leia ate them. She ate them downstairs for whatever reason. She didn't want me to see I guess uh, what she was doing. So she said, "I'm gonna, eat, I'm gonna get you his fucking glasses, so you can't see what the hell, what the hell I'm doing, what I'm up to." So, but we're gonna do an ad real quick, guys, and I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see to do an ad. So here we go. Excuse me. Oh, I say some Chinese food, and it's not sitting very well with me at all. Loot's Property Services. I've talked about it past couple episodes. Uh, you're only as good as your last job, really. So if you're looking for a great job, if you're looking for somebody to to really step up and uh, do some great things for you, get in touch with Lutz Property Services. They have a Facebook page. They have a, a Instagram. They have a website. Uh, they specialize in maintenance plans. Uh, they offer monthly maintenance plans to serve your budget, air filters, light bulbs, honey uh, do lists, anything else you can think of that you need done. They offer handyman services. Uh, you need it, want it, don't know who to call. We've been there and done that and are happy to do it again. Call us and let us know what you need. Plumbing repairs, clogged drains, dripping sinks, spraying faucets. Whether your water isn't available when you need it or it doesn't go down the drain, we can fix it. Uh, restaurant equipment and refrigeration. We are quickly building a reputation in the Charleston restaurant community as a go-to guys for when something goes wrong. Hot side, cold side, anything in between, we are your number one resource for keeping your guests happy. Uh, they do HVAC, they do electrical repairs, concrete repair, pressure washing, commercial painting, safety inspections, light inspections, interior renovation. Anything that your business freaking needs, call Lutz Property Services and they will be there for you. Let's, uh, let's find out what the phone number is for you guys. Uh, for uh, for emergency service or just to schedule a service call to just get information, dial 1 843 203 or 203. Let's start that over again. 
<laughs> for emergency service or just for general inquiries, dial 843-203-3906. That's Lutz Property Services. You can find them at LutzPropertyServices.com. On the interwebs, you can also go to Lutz Construction. I don't know why they use a different name on Instagram. Maybe Lutz Property Services was taken. Uh, but you can go to Lutz Construction on Instagram, and you can keep up with what they're posting and their stories and all that kind of jazz on Instagram, and, and also contact them there as well. And then, guess what, guys? There's a thing called Facebook out there. You can go to Facebook. That's Lutz Property Services on Facebook, and you can send them a message. You can look up some of the reviews from uh, previous customers and find out what these guys are all about and all the great things they're doing. Contact Lutz Property Services any of those platforms. So, <clears throat> like I was saying, I went to Lowe's Foods, uh, which I used to work at, the beer den up there. I was a, a beer den associate, poured beer, and I went up there today and had a couple beers, had a pale ale from, let's remember who that pale ale was from. I'll look it up on Untapped. That's what I use on this show to look up information to... Uh, rate beers to talk about beer. I had a pale ale from the G Dream Chasers Brewery, 6% ABV, 45 IBUs. It was called Another Ale in the Coffin. Pretty clever name. I give it a 3.75. It's got an average rating of 3.63. I thought it was way better than that. It's an American pale ale, dry hopped with why E.T. hops? I don't know what the fuck those are, but they I thought they tasted pretty good. So I drank that guy, and then I also had... Let me go back to their beer list here. To their menu. You can also check out menus on this thing, guys. Uh, for places next to you. I had number 85 Ocho Cinco. It's a brown... From Brown Truck... Brown Truck. Brewery. It's a stout, an imperial double milk stout, by the way. 9% ABV. Uh, no IBUs listed on this guy. This Mexican style imperial milk stout was brewed with locally roasted coffee beans from our friends at Foster Hobbs Coffee. Also brewed with vanilla, chocolate, cinnamon, and locally grown Thai chili peppers and a hefty dose of lactose. Not a big fan of lactose normally in my beer, but this one actually worked out pretty well. I did not even rate this guy yet. I'm going to rate it right now for you guys right here. I would give it a 4 on the uh, 5 scale. Had it on draft. Had it at Lowe's Foods. Bam. So it's a spiced uh, milk stout, guys. Kind of like the uh, Mexican cake. If you're local here, you know what the Mexican cake is from Westbrook Brewing Company. Very similar to that. I liked it a lot. Um, not quite as good as Mexican cake, but uh, I thought it was pretty damn good. Where was this? Got a friend of mine just checked in the Homegrown Brew House. I haven't, he never comes in there when I'm working, but he's there now drinking a maple coffee cream from Edmunds Oast. It's a brown ale. So, anyways, what was I saying? What was my point? I went to Lowe's Foods, had a couple beers. I don't know what it is lately, guys. I just, I cannot, I cannot tolerate beer. I cannot tolerate alcohol at all right now. I mean, I drink one beer and I feel like I've had seven beers. So I think it has something to do with my polycythemia vera. Um, it seems to be getting worse and worse and progressive and progressive as it goes along. Uh, one beer and I'm, I'm toast. I mean, I'm already, I've talked about my vision. I think it's, my vision is, is getting more and more blurred, and that's a, a symptom of this thing. I don't know what it is, man, but I had those two beers well under the legal limit over the time that I was there. I was there for a couple hours just watching some videos and doing some uh, some research, research on a couple things. And also, I'll tell you what I was doing here in a second, but I, I just can't tolerate alcohol anymore i didn't buy any beer to drink on the show tonight i did pick up a bottle of larceny uh whiskey i'm drinking that out of this uh glass i haven't used before it's a whiskey glass it was a little 
gift that uh, my girlfriend had bought for me for Christmas, or actually her mother got it for me for Christmas. Came with two whiskey glasses, uh, some um, dice uh, sized rocks that you can uh, freeze and uh, throw into your to your glass. I hadn't put those in the freezer yet, so I don't have them in the glass, or else I would have. Also comes with a circular uh, spherical uh, ice mold where you can uh, put some water in it and, and mold you a, a spherical piece of ice to, to drop in there, which is the, the thing that most of your whiskey bars would, will do now, a, a block of ice or either a spear of ice and put it in there. I did put the larceny in the <clears throat> in the freezer for a bit and kind of got it chilled a little bit. So that's what I'm drinking tonight, larceny. It's pretty good. Um, larceny is real quick. Looking up all kind of stuff. Matter of fact, speaking of looking up stuff, I had my Surface and my keyboard back over in my seat where it normally is. Had my Mac hooked up in this location, in this seat. Because I didn't think that my I didn't think my surface and everything was going to pull this far across the, the table with it plugged into the Bose board and all this kind of stuff over there. So I decided I was going to hook up the Mac and bring it over here. So I did uh, try to do some updates. The updates kept failing. Um, the battery was almost dead. It was at 20% when I plugged it in. I did a restart, uh, reopened Safari, and I tried to go to all this stuff that I just talked to you about, Loose Property Services and all their sites, and I couldn't even get Safari to work. You won't even pull up a damn website. So I said, fuck it, threw it on the floor over here. I'm about to give it back to uh, the person that lent it to me because it just uh, it just never works. It hasn't worked really since um, since I got it. You know, the first two or three times it did okay with Audacity, and then um, a few times after that that I used it, I think twice, maybe three times, I used it and it kept dropping the audio. So I would go in to save my Audacity file, my audio file, and it. it had dropped pieces of the audio out so I would have to go through and use the camera audio because my audio was all fucked up on it so I stopped using the Mac for recording the show for sure but for a while there I was using it at least to be able to look up some information and stuff and I can't even do that anymore so I don't know I typed in loose property services it was connected to the right network which I'm connected to the same one on the surface same one on my phone man your Chinese food and um, it, it just, it would never go. It would never open the page. So I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'm done with it. I'm done. That's the last time, fucker. The last time I'm fucking with you. Ugh. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I didn't, uh, what was my last episode? Was my last episode, Corey, or was it the shitty, I think it was a shitty month episode. February fucking sucked. And March is not looking too much better at the moment. So, um, I've still got something that uh, I'll be talking about sometime in the future. I was going to talk about it uh, probably on this episode, but it's something that is still uh, pending. hasn't happened yet, so I'm not going to talk about it until that happens. That'll probably be at the end of March. Um, there is a good... A good chance that this will be my last episode for the month of March until I do that that next episode. I'm just I burn out, guys. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I just went off the grid off of uh, Facebook today. I'm not posting anything on there anymore. I'm just going to be an observer, uh, maybe look here and there and see what's just see what people are doing. But I'm um, I'm going off the grid, and this is this is one of the things I'm going off of the grid on. I've already delayed this show. By a week, so I didn't do a show last week. I don't know. I'm just uh, I'm not in a good mood. I'm I'm uh, uh, in a little bit of a depressed state at the moment. Um, things have not been going my way at all, and um, you know normally the, things go pretty much in my way. I've noticed sitting in this seat that I get a little more reverberation off of this bass drum on this. Uh, drum kit over here so maybe this isn't the best location to sit but 
I'm just, I'm not in a good mood. You know, I had, uh, you know, we had the flat tire incident uh, the middle of the month. Um, and then the, uh, on top of the flat tire incident, I couldn't get the spare tire off of the truck. Once I got it off the truck, the flat tire, the, the spare tire was flat as well. Uh, luckily I had something in my car to fix, to, uh, to blow it up with. I had an air compressor that I had put in the back of my truck. Got that all figured out. Um, you know, the good thing that came out of that is I got back home. I was able to plug that tire, put the original tire back on there. So, uh, that was a good, that was the plus side of that. Uh, I still have the spare tire sitting in my driveway. I still have to put it back underneath the truck, but it's a pain in the ass because by myself, without any help, um, I've got to get in there and literally bench press this tire with one arm um, and the rim and everything else. And with the other arm, reach up in there and try and put the, the chain and the and the, uh, the piece back in there. Because I still can't get the chain to drop down to the fucking ground. So, uh, spare tire is still sitting in my driveway. So, hopefully I don't have another flat because I don't have another, I don't have something to change it with. But, um and then I think I had mentioned uh, the last episode about my debit card being hacked, uh, or at least the number. The card wasn't actually stolen or stolen or lost or anything, but the number was hacked. Had a whole bunch of charges that dropped my account into a negative account, negative number. And then as it was in a negative number, I kept getting, uh, you know, had charges that were automatically being uh, charged um, before they, um, before I. Uh, figured it out and had the bank, you know, cancel that card number. So it just kept going further and further. I mean, I think, you know, once it dropped my account to zero after the money it had it had taken out, then just with overdraft charges and all kind of other bullshit, it dropped down to almost three hundred bucks in the in the negative. It took Wells Fargo, and they did a great job. You know, they were very cordial on the phone, very cooperative. Um, and they did everything they could to rectify the situation. It took about a week, maybe a week and a half for them to get the, the money back into my account, but it, it went back to the original amount before all that happened. So they they refunded everything back to me as uh, fraudulent and, and all the, the overdraft protection uh, fees, all the overdraft uh, charges, all that stuff, they refunded back to me. So they took care of it. It just took a little while. So there was that. <clears throat> Um, and then something else happened on Friday. I'm not going to go all, all into that. Um, but another $500 thing hit me on, on, on Friday. And, uh, and then I tried, um, yesterday to change my rear brakes. I bought some brake pads. It's been making some noise, some screeching with the, uh, the wear indicator on the brake pads. Went in yesterday to try and replace those, pulled uh, the back uh, driver's rear tire off, pulled the brake pads off. Took forever to get the, the caliper and the brake pads off. They were just like almost glued into that fucking thing. So I'm there with the screwdriver and a hammer and wedging and pulling and prying and all this kind of stuff to get the thing off. <clears throat> Finally got everything off, got everything loose. I have a system that I use to compress the... The caliper, um, the cylinder on the caliper that, as the uh, brakes wear, the the caliper progressively comes further and further out as the the brake pads get less and less. So when you replace the brake pads, if you've never done it before, you have to actually compress that cylinder back in to allow room for the new pads to fit in there and for the caliper to to put to to go over those new pads. I tried for 45 minutes to get that fucking caliper to de- to, to compress. Um, it would not do it. Of course, I've got the tire off, I've got the brakes off, i got the caliper off. I can't go anywhere to get a tool that I need. Because uh, I was using some makeshift stuff, which I've always done. I've never had to have an actual tool to change brake pads with, so... I didn't have a way to the store, so I just said, fuck it. Last night, I just came in the house, and I said, screw it, man. I'm just going to sit in here and watch some TV. Fuck it. I guess I'm not going anywhere. Got up today, <clears throat> uh, called my dad and said, hey, can you come over and pick me up and take me to the parts store so I can get the tools I need? So I go to the parts store. 
I go in, I purchase $25 worth of uh, a tool, come home, dad drops me off, he's got to go somewhere else, so he's, he's not there to help me, roommate's already gone to work, and the tool's not the right tool that I need. So, <laughs> yeah. So then I'm stuck. I'm like, motherfucker. Now I can't go back to the store and get the other tool because there was two of them. I didn't know which one I needed. And the, really, the guy at the two auto parts stores I went to didn't know what tool I needed either. I'm like, well, what good are you guys if you can't even tell me what the fuck I need for my vehicle? Uh, you know, why are you even here? And, I, you know, they normally help me out very well with uh, with what I need. They type in your vehicle. They know exactly what you need. But for some reason, even them knowing the year and the make and the model of my vehicle, they still didn't know what tool I needed to replace my rear brakes. So I took a chance and I got one tool. That tool didn't work. Well, I went back to the original makeshift way that I usually compress these uh, calipers with. And um, just tried a little bit harder, put a little bit more muscle into it, and ended up probably taking me another 45 minutes, maybe an hour, to get that cylinder to go all the way back in. I finally got the new brake pads on. They were a pain in the ass even to go on. They, I don't know what the, I don't know. I had to hammer them on there. I had to hammer the caliper back over the brake pads. Finally got everything back together, got the tire on, lowered it, went over to the other side, jacked it up, pulled the other tire off, got the caliper loose, got the brake pads off. I could not... I got the new brake pads on for the life of me on this one. I could not get that caliper to compress and go back to its original state. And, of course, I didn't have the tool because I couldn't get a ride back to the store. Um, I had a bike. I could have ridden the bike up there, but I had m both my uh, tires <laughs> on both my bikes are flat. I didn't feel like pumping the tires up. I didn't feel like uh, fighting the traffic and going down the road to the parts store. So I said, fuck it. Um, actually, on this side, I had about half of the brake pad life left on these brake pads. The other side, they were bare metal. They were gone. But the other side, there was a little bit of a pad left on the brake, on the pad. So I put the old pads back on there, put the fucking uh, caliper back over the top of it, put the two bolts back in, put the tire on, lowered it, drove around with it, and it works fine right now. No noise, no nothing. Braking is, is perfect. So basically, I'm just going to ride with those old brake pads on the, on the passenger side for a little bit longer. They've got some life left into them, so... Once um, they don't, I've got new pads I can put on there. So, so there you go. March is not starting off the best either. But I don't know. This is just a bitch session. But mainly, I'm just um, I'm letting you guys know that I'm I'm going to take a break. Probably, I probably will not be back next week. Unless, you know, I don't know, unless I just start feeling really good because right now I'm just, I feel depressed. I just don't, I just don't feel good. I don't even want to talk to anybody. Um, I don't even, want, <laughs> I don't even want to visit with anybody. I don't want to go out with anybody. I don't want to um, be in anybody's company. I just want to be alone, really. But I felt like I owed you guys a show, something to listen to, even if it's uh, depressing and you know, whoa, uh, whatever. A fucking bit session is what it is, but. <sighs> so. I don't know. I was watching a bunch of uh, YouTube videos when I was sitting up at Lowe's. I was watching a bunch of stuff. I was watching some stuff on, uh, you know, of course, the election that's uh, coming up. we got Super Tuesday coming up tomorrow. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not post anything about it. I've been posting a lot of uh, political stuff. I've been posting a lot of a lot of stuff on on just everything in general, the coronavirus, the uh, politics, um, the caucuses, the primaries, just everything. And I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I'm tired of 
I'm, I'm tired of interacting with people and um, I just want to take a break. I do have my short shorts on today though, by the way. I haven't put, put these shorts on probably, I don't know, since November, maybe October. I feel good with it. I feel good about it. Uh, what else? I don't know. Oh, so I was watching some tiny, yeah, I was watching some tiny home videos. And, oh, man, I found this new site, matter of fact. Let me pull it up. It's not new. It's been around for a while. It's called Living Big in a Tiny House. And it's got just video after video after video of tiny houses. And uh, it's really cool. I subscribed to it today. I've watched a couple of them. I watched one that was a... Um, <clears throat> Where was it? Videos. Um, fuck, I don't even remember what it was. It was a music, a music house. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe I can go to my previous videos here. Let's see. It was. Musicians. Here we go. Much I would do differently if I had to do it all. Wait. Musicians, incredible modern tiny house and mobile music studio. It was um, it was put out there about a year ago, but it was fantastic. I sent it to a couple of music friends of mine that I think would be interested in it, and then I saw another one that was a school bus converted to an incredible off the grid tiny house, and I sent that to a buddy of mine that is uh, converting. Improving upon an already converted uh, school bus that he purchased and um, Trying to give him some some new ideas. Maybe some stuff he can do with that. So and then I did another one that was an off-the-grid desert off-the-grid desert living in a tiny Off-the-grid desert living in a tiny earthen home in permaculture community This was out in California the California desert, so really cool stuff, man. I really want a tiny home. I'd like to have a mobile home to uh, travel around in, but I'd love to have just a tiny home uh, somewhere as well. So in the near future, I want to get rid of this big ass fucking house that I don't fucking need, and uh, I use you know maybe two rooms out of the goddamn house, and it's just a waste of space, a waste of yard. It's a bunch of fucking upkeep, uh, upkeep, and nonsense and bullshit that I really just don't give a shit about anymore. I want low maintenance at this point. <clears throat> what else was I going to talk about? Really nothing. I talked about my brakes, talked about the flat tire. It's still good. Got it uh, fixed. The shitty month of February. Um, yeah. I'd mentioned in a uh, in another show about not uh, promoting anybody anymore, but you know, fuck it. This show has never been about uh, money. It's never been about compensation. I really don't give a shit. And a lot of people, when I posted that, said, "Well, good. You you shouldn't be promoting anybody for free. Your your time is worth money." And blah blah blah. And I'm like, ah. Now that I rethink about it, I'm not sure that I really agree with all that. I mean, if 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 somebody wants to come to agreement with me and they give me some money, that's great. I would love that. And um, I think I still have a deal with Lutz Property Services. That's why I'm promoting those guys specifically as an advertisement on this show. But, you know, whatever, man. I'm out here just to make people feel good. I try and be motivational and positive and, and uh, uh, get some good in the world. Although I'm, I'm in a shitty mood right now and um, a little bit of a depression, I still would like to do that. You know, matter of fact, um, speaking about promoting people, Oak Road Brewery, Aaron over there has uh, just started up a new podcast and I'm sure she did it with the help of um, Caleb Choir. I think he helped Joshua Jarman start up his thing, Wings Weekly, or not Wings Weekly, uh, um, is it Wings Weekly? Yeah, Wings Weekly. And then... Um, he started the brewery life with the guys from Oak Road talking about Oak Road Brewing specifically. And then he started the new one that I've talked about a couple times already. Like I said, it's his new podcast that he's doing. 
And now Oak Road is doing one. Uh, first episode was recorded yesterday. Super excited, new adventure. The ladies of Oak Road are embarking on. The first episode is a good start, and the ladies intend to grow the program to discuss and empower women in the brewing industry and beyond. Be sure to check back later this week for the official release and give it a listen. And I think it's going to be called Women in Brewing. Maybe. I'm not sure if that's the actual name or not, but they've got a table set up kind of uh, similar to what we got here. Uh, looks like they got uh, three mics set up. Looks like there's an amplifier in there, just some regular um, poker table chairs, card table chairs, um, a few knickknacks here and there. They've got just a small little router for all the mics, it looks like. It looks like maybe a headphone amplifier built into that little guy. And yeah, it's a nice looking setup. Uh, the lighting looks good. So give those guys uh, follow Oak Road Brewing, Oak Road Brewery on Instagram and keep up with what those guys are doing. And um, I will try and at least uh, forward their post whenever they do officially launch their first episode. So they're probably waiting on. Uh, normally, you have to upload your your um, your feed, your RSS feed to like Podbean, like I do, and then you have to request that it go to Spotify and Apple iTunes and all these kind of things. And it takes about a week or so for them to approve it. So they're probably waiting on they probably got it recorded, and they are waiting on approval. And they're not going to post that it's ready until all the the different podcast feeds are available. <clears throat> so. More to come on that. Where are we at here, guys? Where are we? Not where are we at. We are 32 minutes in. That's about it. That's about all I got. I'm giving back the Mac. It sucks. I'm not sure if I like this uh, side of the table or end of the table. Like I said, I hit my knee twice. I think it's going to be bruised. Um, not sure what you're seeing back here behind me. I couldn't really take a look at the camera at the end of the table it's kind of hard to look through the viewfinder this direction the way i got it set up i don't know it'd be something different at least might be kind of cool but i got a feeling i'll probably go back to the other side of the table you know and if something comes up man like i said if i feel good next week and maybe i'm, I'm a little better spirit a little better mood or if i get somebody that says hey man i'd love to sit down and chat with you and and i get a guest that i'm really excited about then Maybe something will be out next week, but as of right now, I think I'm going to say it, it might be a couple weeks before you hear from me again. So maybe I'll post a few pictures here and there on Instagram or something. But, you know, if you like the show, give it a like, give it a give it a thumbs up on, uh, you know, give my Facebook page a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. Uh, go on to Instagram, like my page on there. Go to YouTube where these things come out on the video. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, hit the notifications bell so you get notifications whenever I put new episodes out. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like. Share it with other people. Go out there to Podbean. Go out there to Spotify. Go out there to Google Play. Go out there to Apple iTunes or iTunes Podcast. Uh, do the same thing. Like, subscribe to all those guys. You know, it only helps this podcast and it keeps it viable and it keeps it up there um, and puts it out there for people to listen when you comment, when you subscribe, when you like, uh, when you share. That uh, pushes us even further up on the ever-growing list. So I'd appreciate if you would do that. Let people know that I'm still doing it. This is episode 115, I believe. I'm not positive. I think it's 115. I don't have any plans of stopping, but um, like I said, I'm going to go off the grid. I think uh, I'm just going to take a break. I just need to decompress. I need to, to refocus. I need to regroup. I need to I need to kind of just get my mojo back. I've, my mojo is somewhere else. So, all right. 
think that's about it, guys. I appreciate you listening. Um, I love all you guys that listen. I, you don't know how much I appreciate it. So let's stick together, guys, and do this thing, okay? All right. I will talk to you. What? Stay together soon. All right. Bye, guys.